Okay. Well, here we are. Oh, and we're going to let someone else, we let Gail do the talk tonight. Hello, Brenda. Well, hello, hello everybody. We have Brenda and Gail and Linda and Virginia's over there somewhere. There she is. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for, for joining us. We, um, we've had, I guess this is about the fourth one, I guess. Um, we're trying to do some Oh, yeah, Linda's got four up. <laughs> We're doing some um, just kind of quick Zoom meetings to give some information to people that are either considering going to our program in Arizona or, um, you know, going to Susie's um, event as well, which is the last weekend in September. Make sure I get my calendar straight in my head. September 1 and 2 October. Yeah, and I'm actually, I'm going to share the screen on that because I wanted to kind of coordinate that with with her information because that's the reason that we're there in Arizona, right? So um, Susie Miller um, is uh, somebody that Linda and I have both listened to and worked with for classes for, I think, since about 2012. I've been listening to her about 2013. We started taking classes with the awesomeism and being practitioners um, with that group. Beautiful, beautiful being, very advanced, multidimensionally aware soul. A um, lot, lot of love. Um, and, uh, you know, she started off by, you know, supporting families with children in the autistic spectrum. And um, it's, it's that and so much more, personal expansion, planetary support <coughs> for the expansions going on. And in these last um, couple of years, we've had a spring event in Colorado and sometimes a fall event in another location. So the flow of that would be this one coming up in the end of September, early October, that this time is gonna be in Arizona. So. Um, the concept of us kind of becoming avatars and expressing our avatar nature and um, living that, that full expression that's available to us has um, come into our programs we've done with Susie. And uh, so this is her program that she's doing the weekend before. And uh, yeah, that's, that's posted on, on all of the awesomeism sites and she sent out you know personal emails i think to people that work with her as well and that's a that's a packed three-day weekend you know it's a lot of beautiful energy work and um uh, a lot of personal <laughs> transformation going on there as well as planetary transformation uh and assisting that and it is at the hyatt at ganey ranch um Somewhere it's called a resort and spa. It looks really gorgeous. <laughs> Looking forward to that. That'll that'll be just beautiful. And then so um, the day after that event, which would be the Monday, this is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The Monday after that, then Linda and I will be doing a introduction to plasma nanotechnology. Oh, let me pull it up off the file section. That would be a little bit better. Are you still seeing my screen there? Yes. Did I do it correctly to, okay. So I'm, I'm going through the Facebook page because that's where a lot of this information is. Just an easier way to organize things, you know. Okay, file section. There we go. Um, so the, the Monday after that, we will be doing a program to discuss and instruct in the Kesha technology that we've been playing with for almost a year now, by golly. Yeah. Um, at yeah. some point, I remember this time last year, Susie said, hey, there's this guy named Kesha, and he's going to do some live teachings to the world about how to build, you know, plasma energy devices or, <coughs> you know, free energy was kind of the buzzword, and, and uh, he might be somebody to watch, and he might be, you know, somebody for people to, to listen to and look at. And at that time when she talked about it, I was like, yeah, that, um, that sounds familiar. I knew I had looked him up years ago, maybe 10 years ago. And, um, 
and the information that I saw of what he was was here to do and what he was teaching and how he was planning on changing the planet and bringing world peace and all of that. I thought, oh, this is a guy to watch. You know, I'll check in on him periodically and see what he's doing. And uh, just kind of lost track of him until she said something about it about a year ago. That was before um, the event in California this time last year, huh? Right. I remember the whole time we were there, I was on <laughs> on my little phone <laughs> listening to the classes because <laughs> yes. He, he gave about a week-long um, dissertation twice a day, every day for a week, teaching um, the world his technology. And he wanted to bring it in in a way that would teach everybody on the planet at once. So it would not be a um, technology that could be controlled um, or um, uh, put out or put under or... <laughs> some of the other things that have been done with technology. And um, so he just, he put it open source on the internet, free for everybody to listen and, and play with and learn. And, um, and since then, uh, he's continued. He, he just, he talks live on the um, internet from Italy, where he's centered now, uh, twice a week. Really, more than that, but you can listen twice a week live, um, you know, on their free channel at I think it's like midnight and 5 a.m., <laughs> you know, our time, but uh, in Italy it's it's a regular time of day. And so, you know, Linda and I've been listening to that and then playing in our garage, putting together all the different things that he teaches just because it sounds like fun, right? <laughs> and um, so by the spring event last year, um, in, that was in Colorado that Susie had. Um, I had been making all kinds of GANs and plasma waters and nano coating things and, you know, creating some of the different, I, I call it alchemy because it feels like that to me. You know, it's, it's a little bit of chemistry, a little bit of science, a lot of consciousness and a lot of expand yourself and play with it as you go. And uh, so we, we, um, Shared some of it in in Colorado last year in, in the spring event and uh, brought it out and people were enjoying playing with it. They were enjoying how it felt. I'm going to stop that screen share. And it um, it, it really kind of surprised me in, in beautiful ways. You know, I had started playing with it because it was fun and interesting to me, but I didn't know if it was really all it's cracked up to be or good or um, what it trying to find some of the pictures from that event that we did let's see um so you know i i just i brought it and and we shared it some with everybody and i think during the event we actually put some of the plasma water you know and some of the drinking water that we had there and we brought the patches out oh gail yeah. was there i was gail was there i was there it's yeah. pretty awesome and Susie was over the top. She couldn't handle it. <laughs> she was yeah. over the top impressed with that stuff. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, it impressed me that it impressed you all, you know, because I know how, um, how sensitive and, and, and perceptive and things that, that people in our group are. And uh, I was like, wow, okay, so this stuff is real, <laughs> you know. Um, and, it's, and it's worth playing with. So, okay, let's see. I'm not sure. Let's see. Not sharing. Oh, that's sharing that one, not this one. Correct. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to share it a little differently. Open up the how to one. use this Zoom bring, thing here. Bring the one you want to, bring forward the one you want to share. I got a desktop. Where are you, Finder? Okay, so you guys are looking at my desktop now give me just a moment it takes a little bit of click 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 and then it gets there there you go boulder yeah okay so you know at that time we had been making the stuff in our garage and um just before we left for the event in boulder i i had pretty much decided i wasn't going to bring any of that stuff with me and then that morning putting the things together for the trip i just i kept getting 
taps on the shoulder. Okay, well, just, you know, bring a few of the things, you know, just, just put a little bit of the Gans in something, you know, let Susie hold it, let the other girls look at it, because, you know, there was some curiosity building as to what this is and what it does. So, you know, it's about that much stuff that I threw in my, <laughs> in my bag just to, to let people play with it if it seemed like it was necessary or fun to do. And uh, there they are. And so we, we actually put some of the plasma water in that water container there. Um, there were two of them. I think we did like one with the ocean gans and then we did one with the um, CO2 water. And I charged, charged some water bottles for charged, changed, plasmified. Yeah. So who's that? Oh, there's, there's Linda back there. I think that's Doobie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't remember this lady's name, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. And then I don't know what happened. Like during the, the energy work, there was a, it was like a little inspiration to put some of it in the center where we were doing, um, you know, like someone would sit in the center of the circle and, and have their energy work done as far as, um, you know, emotional balance and releasing things. And um, I'm trying to find the picture of that thing we made and put in the middle, but it, it kept, uh, basically I just kept getting little insights as to things to make to put in the middle of the, the, the chair, under the chair. Yeah, how do you say it? Like, you know, we're all sitting in a circle, you know, and then we're all doing our, our energy work. And, um, <coughs> oh, I, I saved it as center thing. Here we go. That's what I called it. I called it center thing <laughs> because it ended up being some of the GANs, some of the pins, um, the, the big uh, lightsaber in the middle. And uh, it seemed to facilitate the process. And, and I remember some of the things that Susie was saying about, you know, that it, uh, she was able to, you know, we, we create quite an energetic um, vortex in the room by doing the energy work that she brings up. I mean, just, just us being there and, and the coherence that's created through that weekend creates a beautiful um, vortex in the middle of the room anyways. And um, putting this stuff in the middle, <laughs> you could just kind of see her reaction every time she stepped in the middle. It's like, whoa. <laughs> she, I thought yeah. she was going to lift off. <laughs> yeah, that she could, I don't know, I was trying to remember some of the, the comments that she made that she was able to kind of see uh, straight to source, I guess, with one of those things yeah. um, that, that oh. she, um, I recall a, a beautiful thing because she always does the one where she calls a, Calls, um, show you, show me who you really are, you know, and then she'll go to each of us and uh, give us a chance to bring our, our highest expression forward. And, uh, and it, this is the first time I'd ever seen her, um, say, um, kind of say that to herself, you know, for her to show her who she really was. Yeah. And that was, that was quite beautiful. Well, during the, the, um, uh what was it, mental, emotional merge and whatever it was she was doing? Yeah. I was sitting in the center of the room in the chair with that CO2 and all the, the GANS plasma underneath the chair. Yeah. Susie admitted that, that she had, that was, she had never, or that was the easiest she had seen mental and emotional release and merge. Right. She'd seen in all of her time of, of doing that. Yeah, yeah and, it, and it was observable too, because, you know. Quite supportive. Yeah, the day before, um, you know, when people were doing some of that part of it, it was, you know, that you, you have a lot of outward emotion when you're doing those things. A lot of and, um, yeah. you know, and that was a lot of crying and a lot of sound and a lot of, you know, expression, emotional expression. And then, you know, by placing that, that CO2, just the CO2. Uh, what are you doing? Catch. <laughs> what are you doing, I'm trying Heather? to find these things that I posted. You guys don't want to watch me scroll and find the things that I posted. Are you just, are you just surfing. <laughs> no, I'm not surfing. I'm going to stop Peter. right here because this is one not thing so. I wanted to show. <laughs> that, um, you know, people ask all the time, you know, with these patch kits that we have that, that we send out to people. You know, can they? Oh yeah. 
and the the beauty of this oh my god it's just so um expansive what do you call it it's it's um it's uh exponential so yes of course you know whatever you put the patch under or on especially water we just put distilled water in a container sit it the patch on it and um three to five minutes later the water that's in the container is the same attributes of that patch so well, what it depends on what size body of water though yeah, sure. right right yeah, i think was dr copen's um 10 gallon things would take 10 minutes or something to charge okay yeah so basically it's it's not doesn't take very long for sure right and then some of the people in our group it's really exciting they're making second generation patches is what they call it <laughs> from our so, patch so our children are going out making children and grandchildren <laughs> <laughs> i just think that's wonderful and plus you know each person that makes it 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 takes on some of their um uh beautiful access points or um their uh their masteries you know go into it like like susan she puts her you know reiki symbols and things like that into it and um uh some some friend of ours in australia she does a lot with essences and things like that and she actually adds some of those things to it and i don't know each, each person that plays with it adds a little bit of them to it that's alchemy you know yeah so so that's beautiful okay well i will stop scrolling all through there and i'm just going to put this one up because <clears throat> i had uh yeah i'll stop screen sharing for just a second instead take you guys through that little okay scrolling fit there <laughs> um okay well and then another one i wanted to bring up there was uh there's a couple of just kind of, you know, Susie quotes that I had put on there. Let me see if I can pull them up in a different way since I'm not finding them in that way. There they are. Yay. <laughs> that one. And screen share. Bye, golly. Yeah, mm. so this is just kind of something that, that she had said after um, the event in Boulder. And, um, you know, of course, we were just starting to work with the idea of the, the avatar nature and things like that. And she said, we talked about the internal and external technologies. And I can't say that I've ever experienced an external or what's perceived as external technology that was such a direct mirror of our avatar nature. Talk about playing with the big boys. <laughs> the opportunity to have that as a support system during the live event and have that external be a reflection of our internal really was quite amazing and i just yeah. you know i take that to heart because i really respect susie and her um her perception point of um just about everything seems to be just so heart-centered benevolent um she's got a very good way of looking at things and understanding you know kind of what what place it it has or not <laughs> on this planet and that was a it's just a real support to me to kind of know that hey this is you know this is something that's being acknowledged from that level and you know and it's not just her there there are um so many people that we listen to or i listen to on a regular basis you know cryon and jim self and um with the ashtar um on the road people um and that's just a Kuan Yin, I listen to them quite a bit, that they, they, all, they all are talking about Kesha periodically and saying, you know, this, this guy is really here to do some good. He's, um, his technology and what he's teaching people to make is, um, you know, it's a worthwhile endeavor that it's, it's coming from a source that's, that's here to help this planet. And um, it just confirmation that this is really, to me, this is where we're going, you know? Um, this is kind of our ticket out of the old paradigm, you know, it's kind of what's next. Yeah, it, it follows the, uh, the principles of, you know, higher dimensional expression, you know, fifth, to me, like fifth to seventh dimensional um, living. And, uh, 
and uh, yeah, it's um, definitely out of the old paradigm, <laughs> out of the old box, you know. We're not in Kansas anymore, RR. <laughs> What's that? We're not in Kansas anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, people. No, not at all. Yeah. Well, one of us is, I think. Oh, yeah, well, are we? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> wow. That's... Brenda, are you going to the event, the Susie event? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Uh, lots of lots of considerations. Uh, Who's to take care of my son? And uh, oh, yeah, right, right. Haven't yeah. ironed all that out yet. Yeah, It'd be wonderful. Right. Well, figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was I was excited. I think Su Susan said she was thinking about bringing a new daughter. Yeah. Yeah. We we should work right. out some time away to um to have because I know you get your parents are just you amaze me. <laughs> what you've taken on in this, in this lifetime is just <laughs> superstar human. Uh, wow. Right. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Sometime we can work out, you know, a way for people to be able to have some time. Okay, let's, uh, let's create an awesomeism daycare where yeah. the awesomeism parents can bring their children and drop them off for a couple of weeks and then go play. <laughs> Oh, right. No, I mean, really. That's why we play. Yeah. Oh, well, you yeah. play. We'll, we'll play with your children. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and we're talking about, you know, with, with this technology, there's a subject of making what's called a, um Oasis unit. And we've, you know, played with that idea. We've, we've actually made some of the different pieces and parts of it. But um, it it's, feels like something that would be a, um like an atmosphere that 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 kids would on the spectrum would enjoy being in you know it, it creates like a, a bubble of um wow of uh whatever you know kesha calls it plasma um it creates a, a a bubble structure even you know that's um like a dome structure and it's a place where within that structure, it's, it's that whole field of, you know, total acceptance, unconditional love. Love, um, love, love. You actually, yeah, and it's actually, you know, depending on what you put in the plasma waters that are spinning in the, the ball in the center, it can also provide, um, like, food, water, nutrient, those types of things to the beings that are inside. Or you may even not need food consumption inside the ball. Inside oh, right, <laughs> right. It just may not be necessary because you've got uh, that smooth flow in and out of the source field. Yeah. It's, so, yes, when, when they start talking about that stuff, Susie and, and Linda and Bill and I, we, we, we perk up and we start, oh, okay, let's, let's play with some of that technology and see how it might meld with what we're doing. Because wouldn't that be great? You know, you go to a retreat or something and we we're talking about just going out in our meadow you know, and, and take this little unit and turn it on and buzz it, and then whoom, you've got yourself a, a, a plasma tent to have your retreat in or your, um, uh, you know, just do some consciousness work in or, you know, have it be a safe, safe space for, you know, kids on the spectrum to be in. Because I, I had asked about that many years ago, you know, in our, in our group with Susie, we um learn to make connections with the nonverbal kids and we ask them questions because they are so knowledgeable oh my gosh they're so connected and huge immense um intelligent beings even though they may not speak you know in the verbal way and uh, when i was doing my connections during class one of the main things i would ask about would was you know what would be the um optimum optimum place you know for kids to have, you know, if, if it was maybe a, a school or a rec center or a daycare or or even just a, um, a living community, you know, what would that be like? And so I started asking into that years ago. And um, in one of my connections with the kids, we actually came up with a logo and um, for the place <laughs> and some information about it. And then, yeah, it's, um, we called it Heartbridge. And... Yeah, and I, I feel like it's something that it, it is created. It's somewhere in the, you know, future. 
and whatever I'm doing now is stepping towards that, you know, because I asked for that to be created and I asked how I could be part of it. So, and so I, neat. it's so needed. We need, especially for the young adults, we need a village. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Need they're, they're not just little kids anymore. They're, you know, <laughs> 22. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But yeah, it takes. Uh, it takes a place of acceptance and uh, opportunities and um, that they go. Yeah. It, it, we're self-creating that now, but it's it'll take a while. Or a lot of thoughts and dreams. Yeah. Right, and, and I feel one of the things I learned from Susie in, in our, you know, processing and our work and stuff was to ask the, the beings that are supported by, you know, your intended creation, ask those beings of future selves to participate in bringing in the, the resources and synchronicities and technologies and um, connections to allow that to take place. You know, because you know they can, you know, they live in that no time space and they are master yeah. creators to the hilt. So, yeah. yeah. So, that, it's funny because when they asked us at the hotel, you know, what's the name of your company? I was like, oh, um, <laughs> company, name, hmm. <laughs> what would that be? And, uh, well, well, my audio has stopped here, so I don't know. Cool. Stop for everybody else, but yeah, that's that's what um, what Sammy and I came up with actually. Wonderful, I love it. Years ago, so that's what I just I was like, well, if I've got to give them a name, then I, that's what I know is the name of something that's possibly yet to be created, but <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> yeah, and Susie had talked about communities too at some point. She brought it up several times of uh, possibilities of. All our children living in a community together, but I love that heart <laughs> together. <laughs> Down and yeah, I got there. That's great because yeah. that's what it's all about heart centered. Yeah, heart centered, and like you know, one is um, like turned one way, and one's turned the other way. Like, you know, the kids are um, wow. are here, and we're here, and we're, we're trying to bridge those two consciousnesses together and, and open up a, a space where we can all. Um, I'll live be on a, yeah, an experience together. Yeah. That's fun. Oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> kitty in, kitty out. Well, Linda, where do we take this from here, my dear? Yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. Talking and visiting and, and uh, I believe that we've covered a lot of, you know, the useful information about the event i'll go ahead and you know bring that flyer video, Brenda, well I'll, I'll, will each one of your questions gail brenda virginia yeah let's let's do that first before i try to bring the the flyer back up is there anything you know burning in your mind or you're not burning pulling you into <laughs> you know question about oh, anything about just any questions the, eager to get out the gan yeah, subject I, or the do the hands-on, you know, I really like to do the next step, go to the next step of the creation of the games and the patches and all that, but haven't, uh, haven't bridged that yet. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's one thing that I see is, um, you know, a challenge for families with kids running around and schedules and lives and things is actually making the GANs, so um, I've tried to to break down the process into something that is a little more doable um, and maybe even like eventually a little kit that's kind of ready for you to set up. Yeah. And um, so I came up with that one called the, the trifecta method. Um, and it's posted on all of the, the websites and things. Let's see if I can open it directly from here. But that's the one that we're going to teach there. And, um, Let's see. Oh, I can't open it directly from there, can I? Um, and we've researched some different ways of how to make the um, 
the little nano coated part of the GANS making subject lasts longer because that's part of it. You know, you'll, you'll work in a couple of weeks and make a really nice nano coated coil and then you finally get uh, down to making the GANS and then the, the nano coating sloughs off. Slips off. Um, so we, we, um, I asked into that too and um, with Dr. Cope and the way that we do our testing and stuff and found out you can dip the little coil in some beeswax and then that preserves it. Um, I'll pull up the trifecta on the... Oh, I, yeah, I think I got it now. So this is the one that we're going to teach there. And um, you know, this, this is on the um, Avatar Tools page and the Golden Age of Gans and all of the above. But um, the reason I've got two buckets here is because bucket A was the nano-coated coils that don't have beeswax, and then bucket B was the ones that do have beeswax. And I wanted to compare the two and see you know, did it work, and if it worked, how well it worked, and how fast. Um, and so, and and Heather, are we going to offer a kit for <clears> this? <throat> if I get my butt back to Washington and start making some, butt back here. And some nano coating, see, I'm sitting in Texas. <laughs> well, what we, what we, Heather and I plan to do is is some to to save time. We're going to have because the coils are time. The nano coating of the copper is time consuming. Mm -hmm. So what we intend to do is to make a bunch of uh, enough of the uh, nano coated coils that are used used in the trifecta and, and have those as a kit. Yeah. These little things, these little buddies here, you know, it takes, about a, it takes about a week to make a good one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll have some available for purchase or for whatever. Yeah, I think we can get around to, to doing that. and it, and also have- We'll show you how to make them too. I mean, kind of, you know, yeah. quickly. Well, um, it, what, what I've gone to, you know, when, when he teaches how to make the GANs and stuff, it's a nano-coated plate across from a copper plate, or it's a nano-coated plate across from a piece of iron, or it's a nano-coated plate across from a piece of zinc. And I found out just, you know, in playing around with things that the little coils seem to hold their nano coating better than a, than a plate. Um, I think I was just trying to make some, some CO2 GANs and I was out of coated plates. So I just grabbed a, a nano coated coil that was a piece of scrap, one that we weren't using for something else. And I discovered that makes really good GANs and it actually holds its um, nano coating better. And uh, so this, this is what I'm thinking of putting together if we can, you know, for a kit or a starter kit, you know, at least we can kind of get some of the pieces together for people. But if you just have these items here, then you can make three GANs. And if you dip these in the beeswax, then you can keep making it for now and till the end of time, I guess. But the good news is, I mean, even if you don't have it beeswax dipped, if you just make one set of three GANs, you've got enough for you, your children, and your grandchildren for the rest of your life. Um, you don't have keep making the stuff, you know? Yeah, because the actual GANs itself, you don't even have to use the GANs, you just plasmify water with it. Mm -hmm. And continue to plasmify water, and you really never have to touch the, your mother GANs, which is what we call it mother. Yeah. You don't touch it if you don't want to, don't need to. And it'll last forever. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. It's, I love Can I ask a question? Yeah, please. Sure. Okay, I'm looking at the supply list. Um, wh where do you, where do you get the copper, iron, and zinc? Is it like a wire, or what is it? I mean, I know the copper's okay. wire because you wrap it, right? Is there a certain gauge copper yeah. wire? Or? I'll I'll go through this, and I meant I looked at it later and thought, oh, I need to label all that, don't I? So yeah, this part here, um, we actually bought pieces of copper plate from an online company. It comes in different thicknesses, and you can just cut a piece of it. Um, we'll have to look back and, and label what we what we chose for the thickness. I think it was between us like a like a six and an eight or something. Yeah. Did you get it on Amazon, or is there a place you can refer me to to order some? Yeah, Linda has. Yeah. Okay. We, we'll uh, we'll put that list together for the class for the event yeah. that we have. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
because it does make a difference. You don't want to buy a piece of copper that's made for arts and crafts because they cover them with um, like a shellac or a wax or a right. kind of thing, yeah. and it doesn't doesn't uh, work Just well. To make it pretty. <laughs> it has to be perfectly plain. Um, right. Well, even even the bare copper sheets come with an oil. Uh, sheet metal is is um, it's it's stored with oil between the sheets. Right. And, 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 and that's to preserve the, the metal from scratching somewhat and to also, you know, just keep it lubricated from the weather and stuff. Right. Well, I'm serious about doing this, so I want to get the right stuff so I don't have to redo. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll make a list of that and suppliers that we've, that, that we've found. Uh, oh, good. Okay, that's correct. Right. Thank and the, you. And the yes. little nano-coated guys, um, I use 14 gauge. So I'm going to ask a silly question. Like, if I don't want to do all of this, you, you told me. Okay, never mind. Um, I only heard about part of that. I think my internet bleeped in and out. Can you repeat that again? No. I was going to say, I have, uh, if I didn't want to do this, you've already said I can just use my GANS patches to create stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. To okay. create more, yes. So, but this will be more. So I'm asking for, you know, I love my patches. How's that? <laughs> Well, I'm glad you do. Yeah. And I mailed, I mailed you the other ones today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'm asking, so why would I want to do all this? Exactly. Um, I, th I think well, that there is benefit in it that you're involved in the alchemy of, you know, what you create. Um, got it. I know. I got it now. I got it. All right. Um, yeah. The actual... Did you actually receive a knowing or something by making this i got yeah, yeah i got yeah. it connects you a little more probably with the, the soul the plasma i'm gonna say it's a soul connection between you and the gans that you do i've heard people talking about this now she said that i got it now thank you i had forgotten all about that yeah thank you okay. yeah. yeah and the the gans itself you know if you're going to make any of the um the power units um for uh you know powering the house or you know his his favorite thing, which is space flight and stuff like that. I I plan on staying here for myself at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the the Gans itself, you know, that's at the bottom, that's created by this, is is what you use for a lot of those creations. Um, so I'm yeah, gonna go yeah. I'm gonna go to this little list over here just so I can kind of show you what's is what's is here. I think I can annotate here. Can thank I? you, thank you. Oh, have fun. Okay, so this little piece right here is just a piece of iron. Let's see, am I coordinated enough to write something on there? <laughs> oh my, that's not very really pretty, but Effie is the, um, <laughs> that's supposed to be the, uh, yeah, the, the term for iron. And all that is, you can use an iron nail, you can use a piece of iron like out of the backyard. That's a barrel that's in our backyard that we've just been snipping pieces off of, right? Uh -huh. yeah yeah so yeah. so um this one right here is making the rusty colored gans that's the the one over here that's orangey colored right and it's a nano coated coil across from a little piece of iron and then this little guy here is just a rolled up piece of zinc sheeting you can you can buy a whole roll of that um at a hardware store they sell it to put on your roof right to supposed to inhibit moss or something like that or you can use a galvanized nail a galvanized piece of chicken wire anything galvanized um, is covered with a layer of zinc um, this one i found holds its zinc layer really well and doesn't slough off down to the to the underlying pieces of um it's probably steel or something under there too quickly and it and it preserves really well for making the CO2 GANs and we got a roll of it back in a year ago. We still have the darn thing. And and the and the zinc the zinc sheet you, you can pick it up at like Home Depot or your local hardware because it's it's basically a the stock moss for your for your roof. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> so those are the the three different things that are used when we make our patches and we make our GANs for those three kinds of patches. Now, 
we have all kinds of patches other than those as well. You can branch out from there and have all kinds of fun. <laughs> yeah. We made ocean gans, we've made gold gans, we've made silver gans, we've made moldavite gans, we've made gans of different medications and vitamins and minerals and um, uh, fruits and vegetables. So it, it's a a lot of different things that you can play with. But this is a new Heather, maybe here's a good time to tell the, the Mr. Cash story about the the medicines in Africa or wherever that was. They oh, had wow, yeah. I'm going to stop this one. Just um, before I leave this one, I'm just going to say it. it's in the file section on our um, Awesomeism Avatar Tools page. And anything like that that I make, I put it on the Golden Age of Gans Facebook page because that's the one that most of the people playing with Kesha technology tend to to go to but um and we'd be happy to email stuff to anybody as long as it's file size that can okay so um as far as um kind of where where this technology can can take us and other things that it's for um i'm gonna say first since i'm thinking about it that the um the ones that we made like the monatomic gold gans and the um colloidal silver GANs, we found um, possible applications for um, being able to remove heavy metals and biologicals from bodies of people that have that accumulated for various reasons, you know, from vaccinations um, yeah. and things like that. Um, now, this is from our testing and question and answer with, with Dr. Copen in the, um, he uses something called an SRT method uh, to meet with me every week and go through a lot of questions and answers on, on, uh, you know, what types of things to make and how and why. Um, so it's not, you know, what you would call a medical test or anything like that yet. It's just giving us some insights into some things. We, we, um, have a fair amount of, of confidence with our guidance that is, is true and accurate information. And, you know, let's go play with it in our research group. Right. Um, so I can expand on that more at some other time, but I just like to preface it with that. And uh, <clears throat> the the other one with the gold gans was that um, that a person could you know carry that with them, and it would give them almost like a, a shielding effect. You know, you could walk around in the regular mm, what's left of the 3D world. You know, with with things going on, and and it would be of assistance in kind of maintaining your energy and your um, uh, able to be in the world but not be of the world kind of thing, you know, kind of your own little personal bubble that <laughs> you could go out and wear that around. Um, and uh, so I'm looking forward to, to testing and working with this, especially the one with the metals and uh, biologicals because, you know, that seems to be a situation with the kids on the spectrum as well as, as other people. And we've, we've already had somebody volunteer to go ahead and try it with, um, with her kiddo and uh, do some pre and post testing, you know, with actual blood tests as well as um, yeah, bioresonance testing and things like that. So anybody wow. else that wants to play with that, let us know because I, I really am, when I started asking into those questions, I was like, wow, um, this this should be beautiful. Um, and the, the information that was coming in said that it would be 100% effective um, and fairly quickly. Of, of taking all that out of the system and then it was safe to do so. So, so cool. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to question. Yes, please. Are, are you using the patches for that? Did yes. you use the uh, mono atomic yes. uh, from the, um, the powder? Bowl? Okay. Um, well, let me preface this, that, um, the, what I'm speaking of the monatomic gold, Plasma water is something that Susie actually made. Um, she she created that for um, the one that we used to make our monatomic gold patches. Do you have any pictures of the glamour packs? There's, or you you probably have them sitting around somewhere over there, don't you, my dear? I got patches all over this place. Let me go. Find those. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. Is the theory because on the periodic table, uh, mercury and uh, gold are so close, 179, 180? Yes, they uh, are. They're one, one freaking little bitty electron away from each other. Yeah. 
And that's, that's, that's amazing. That's significance, yeah. Okay, oh, I found them, Linda, Linda. So um, the picture before was, let me take that. Um, what you don't see in this little jar is just a little vial of the monatomic gold gans that Susie created. Um, we were making all kinds of fun, interesting things here when she, when her and Bill were here, and then she went home and started playing with that one. Um, so what we make the patches out of is we just suck a little bit of the water out and put it in a patch. Uh -huh. okay. Classified water, yeah. Just like we do with all the other ones. So um, it was fun. We made it with silver coin. We made it with gold coin. Made it with the monatomic gold. You got it. Silver. Yay. There it is live. And then um, there's another whole subject, oh. the amino acids that I won't go into. But, um, yeah, that was quite fun. There's the colloidal, colloidal silver. Yeah, come back some. There we go. Yeah. yeah. They look just like your picture. Why don't you make me run and get them? I don't know, because it was fun. And then we, we put them together in a pack we call the Glamour Pack. I don't know why. I just Linda came up with that name, and it seemed kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it's not one that we send out to everybody. It's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's experimented with. It's, yeah, it's like uh, even more than the other stuff, right? Currently being experimented with. Yep. Yeah. We have sent it out to a small test group and mostly folks with energetic, uh, sensitive children because the children are, are teaching the parents how to use these things. Right. We, we've got them out right now, experimenting right now and waiting for feedback to come. Yeah, see, this stuff is so new. No, there has not been any official studies. We are the study, right? We are the study. <laughs> We're the guinea <laughs> pigs. Yes. I would love to be involved with that any way I can. Okay, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Derek kind of takes the patches and puts them on different places on his body. <laughs> yes. So I just... Okay. I just they know. His lead. Yeah. 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 Sometime on his back, sometime on his belly. Well, that's where I feel that they, these kids, they don't need an instruction sheet like the rest of us do. I mean, I'm making instruction sheets for, you know, the rest of the world to give them ideas about where the things they might experiment with. But um, they, they end up talking to people, you know, and they end up kind of knowing where to put what and you know, people will say they put it on their table with their seeds that they're getting ready to plant in the garden and their seeds want to be on the patch before they go out to the garden, you know, to upgrade their, um, bring in their natural blueprint. Oh, this one, is one lady. Go ahead. What well, one lady had, had told us that she had some seeds laying on her, on her table that she was getting ready to plant for the next day or something. And, and she had her, uh, Gans patches laying on the table also and she said she happened to notice that all those seeds had turned and pointed <laughs> the Gans all the seeds were pointed <laughs> towards the Gans patches kind of like the sunflower <laughs> turns towards yeah, the sun there you go. like so she's like okay and she set the Gans patches on top of the seeds well and it makes sense because he he says all the time that the one of the um, attributes of, of the GANs is to restore the natural blueprint, or uh, I guess to provide the opportunity for the natural blueprint to be restored of whatever it's interacting with. So that could be, you know, contaminated water coming back to being um, not polluted water that's able to be consumed. Um, he says it will repattern the GMO seeds. That just blows my mind. I just, yeah, right, right. Like, wow. Real, real quick, Brenda, is your last name Hughes? I want to make sure I get the right Brenda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hughes, okay. So this was another one we chose to play with when um, Susie yeah. came running out of the garage asking, Linda, do you have any Moldavite? And we're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why? Because not many times. Huh? Very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I'm like, why? <laughs> she goes, why? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I got some. <laughs> So the, the little tender nice computer i think moldavite's wonderful yeah so so there's the moldavite so which one of you like the most guys which one of you really enjoy <laughs> these well, i've not done much with the moldavite and the, the stuff like that mostly what i've dealt with is the uh 
Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I don't remember now. <laughs> oh, the monatomic yeah, gold. Right. And, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I've not dealt with the moldavite and stuff like that yet. Okay. Just have, have the patches around, you know. But. Yeah. Well, the, what, what came up with the moldavite when I was asking what its purpose was, was for... Um, yeah. The, the way Dr. Copen does his testing is, is you can say a statement and he can <clears throat> tell you, you know, what right. and accurate that statement is and then guide you from there. And um, it, it came up um, accurate that the Moldavite GANs, part of its purpose would be to integrate um, a being's galactic aspects into their physical body. So, <clears throat> yeah. Do you know if this is what Susan used? Um, you know what? I didn't. Let me give me. Let me this get you on. Can you read? Oh, there you go. White powdered gold. Yeah. She. I, I believe she did say it was a white powder. The. Uh, well, that's powder. what monatomic gold is a white powder. Um, and yeah. she, she, she used the white powder. She used the white powder to make the gams. Yeah. Well, she used the white powder to make the gams. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then from the gams, we just do the plasmified water of that. Right. And, and all you need is, I mean, that's all. Well, I think she I need the, to go, but I. Well, you already got it. it. <laughs> yeah, but there, there's, a, there's a little different. I'm taking a little bit of it orally, but it's powerful. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> there's a. got the mercury so close on the periodic wow. table. I think, yeah. Mm, this is worth, because we do use some colloidal silver. Yeah. yeah. Quite a bit whenever we get the bacteria or virus or anything and then oh, yeah. it really helps but it, it does helps. i've used it for a lot of years as well brendan i actually made the colloidal silver so the one that we the used, gas, yeah. yeah i'm and i also asked dr copen you know with that testing you know is is monatomic gold is that the gans of gold and it was no um and there were some some slightly different um uses and attributes for the gans of monatomic gold compared to monatomic gold. Um, so it, it is a, an even a, a just kind of a different expression or a next higher um, evolution even of the monatomic gold to have the GANs of it. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so it, I mean, it's That's on your list. It's a worthwhile endeavor. Um, and yeah. the, there's different ways of making the GANs of something. That would be a subject for another in service. <laughs> many, oh, yeah. wow. many different possible ways to, to do that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of fun. All right. Can I just say hello? <laughs> yes, please do. I was I, there, my dear. Yeah, I just happened to see you you mentioned this meeting on Facebook. I just happened to be on Facebook and I thought, oh well, I'll pop over and it's the first time I've used Zoom, so um oh, I couldn't hear anything anything when I first um when I first got on. Um so, hey. so, Hi. we see you. Yeah. That's not that's not Virginia. No 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 oh no, oh, oh, no that's another one. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, okay. okay. I'm Mike. I'm gonna go to the the um workshop for beginners in Australia that you on your Facebook page Heather. Oh good. The, yeah, and um, that's all organised. So um, I'm going to that. This this is a little bit what you're talking about is a bit over my head at the moment. Uh oh. But, um, I hope I hope to get up to speed with it all. So well, that's that's one of the reasons for these zooms is kind is kind of to introduce some introduce those that don't know anything to the language and what we talk about and. And, and by the time, you know, this gets into your mind and you absorb some of it, and by the time you get to the class, you'll go, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll have, I'll certainly have heaps of questions when I get there. Is <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I love the sound of it all. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Well, you're welcome to, you know, ask questions or cruise our... Facebook information because I, you know, I try to post the instruction sheets and um, that we use for the patches and for making things on those websites as well. So, are, mm. are you 
Are you on that Facebook page with the awesomeism avatar tools? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Day. And I've I've downloaded some of the documents. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I, we we have a couple of friends in Australia and I was hoping that some of them would be able to go to this cuz this is this is some of our friends in um that are doing the what we call the goddesses of Gans <laughs> group, and um, so they they're doing this. Gosh, in a couple of weeks, huh? Yeah, it's pretty soon. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, Lisa and and Liz are just amazing, amazing beings, and they um they're going to be a lot of fun in a class, I bet. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be good to make it. A contact with someone over here too. So yes, and we, you know, we have some people. Um, I think that our friends said they were actually on the other side of Australia. So maybe, maybe they'll um, branch out a bit and, and uh, start doing some other ones as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. That's Rachel. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Rachel. Yes. 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 Mm, that's right. Coolness. Yes. Yeah. But um, it, there's one thing that uh, ever since this first came up, because I heard your guest speaker call, Heather, ah. one thing I've really been wanting to, to do once I learn how to make this is to um, use it with house plants to, oh. uh, to <laughs> yes. cleanse the air. I'm sure I'm not the first person that's thought of that, but um, it's just something I feel quite strongly like yes oh the plants love it and and i think I'm, I'm with you on part of your thought process there is like you know the the plants are really a magrav you know they the trees are a magrav you know if they're if they're um processing and projecting and and utilizing the plasma field then it's being pumped out in their auric field which is huge you know yeah, yeah. The air in our house is actually, I think this is something Jackie McMillan said, is more toxic than um, the air out on a highway. <laughs> so it, it, like, to do something like that, I think, to be able to cleanse the air using GANs would be wonderful. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It's like I, I, have, a, I have a spray bottle I keep a my gans my plasmified water in a, in a spray bottle and, I, and it's attached to my butt the spray bottle is and everywhere i go sh -sh 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 -sh. <laughs> yeah everything the walls the ceilings the bed everything everything gets spray sprayed with this ah, well, <laughs> yeah yeah we, uh, yeah we definitely we joke about that that linda sprays everything that stands still but i, I think and then she chases the thing that don't stand. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, well, just FYI, you're asking about the plant applications. Um, the the just the very basic first um, GANs that I mean, you can make this just by itself. You don't have to make all three of them, or you can make it from the patch, right? The CO2 yeah. GANs. You know, plants love this stuff. You know, you think of what plants breathe is CO2. It's just right up their alley. Susie's plants ask for the patches or for the water. <laughs> ah. Yeah. So there's this instruction sheet's also on our page. It's like six pages long because it does everything. <laughs> it does a lot of things for, you know, for physical body, people with physical bodies or people with green bodies, you know? Um, yeah. And I put a lot of the um, ideas that have to do with, with, uh, agriculture and plants because god they love it um you know yeah, the strawberry gives a thumbs up Go yeah. back to the strawberry. Strawberry gives a uh, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny we, we went through this one in detail in one of the last um and the first one i think i want to but you know lisa mcdonald that's giving that class in australia these are her pictures from her um hydroponics aqu uh, aquaponics cool. farm yeah, and they've, they've documented very beautifully. Her and her husband have put together some really good um, PowerPoints of, and studies of 
what really is happening and what the changes are with their aquaponics. So, you know, more, more water, um, excuse me, more, um, the plants are more heat and cold tolerant. They're bigger, they grow faster. It's a lot less time from planting to harvesting. Drought resistant. The little fishies are so much more happy. They're <laughs> in there. Um, <laughs> You know the the ability to store the stuff after it's been picked is is longer, longer. much longer. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they'll share that research with you, but they they're doing some amazing stuff. She's a neat neat girl. And then of, mm -hmm. course, of course, animals love it. You know, they and it brings, it revives them too. Right. We need to put a um, little story on here that from what your mom was sharing about the the bluebird. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. My my mama, my mama's cat had had brought her a a bluebird, and it was all limp. And of course, she takes the limp bird out of the cat's mouth, and her first thought was to put the patches on it. And she held the bird in her in her hands and with the patches and everything for a little while. And then the bird kind of moved a little bit and wanted down, so she put it down on the on the porch, and it just kind of walked around and stood around for a little while. And then it flew off. Huh. I've heard so many stories of, of, you know, critters on the edge of whatever coming back with this stuff. It's, it's um, definitely gives them an opportunity to change their mind. Oh, I'm gone quiet again, so I don't know if you guys are hearing me or I'll wait, wait till it steadies out again. I'm not here. <laughs> Heather? Well, I wasn't hearing anything there for a few moments. What was that? I, I was just wondering when it joins the other birds, like, does the energy still keep going? Does it spread it? Ah. To, oh, does it classify the energy? Wow, good point. Good point. Yep. Beautiful because, Probably. yeah, because yep. it is. If it permanently plasmifies the water, it's permanently yeah. plasmifies, I guess, whatever critter that it's in, it's um, affected. Wow. And then it's got plasmified babies. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. And you know, oceans, rivers, um, you know, we had some pictures somewhere. Oh yeah. Like uh, Caroline um, Kesha's wife was putting out suggestions for people to go around and inoculate all the, the fountains that are out in the public, you know, and they're, they're in Italy and Rome, you know, and they're, you know, just go by and dump a little bit of your drinking plasma water in there. And um, it won't be too long before the whole thing is just a, a plasma fountain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll rub off on people as they go by. Exactly. Yeah. And this, this, yeah. We've, we've had a couple of people, Dr. Cope and Susie, both plasmify their swimming pools. So, I mean, if you can imagine if that little bitty patch that we have has a foot and a half field around it, you know, how much is of a field is around a 25,000 gallon swimming pool, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. And, and the, can explain the, the color, the gold color there. Okay, well, um, Initially, he, um, you know, was just starting to plasmify the pool, putting a little bit of plasma water in at a time. And a friend of his had a, it's, it's just an app on the phone that, that takes aura pictures. Um, one that's been, I guess, canned now and that you, you can't get a hold of. So he has a friend that has an old phone with that app on there. And, and, another, and he also sees energies. You know, we know people do that. And it started off being, you know, just kind of a low haze around the pool of, of some gold uh, tint to it. And then now that it's 100% plasmified, it, um, he said it's just got a big gold globe around the pool. Mm. And um, it sounds like it's, you know, it's spreading. So it's going to spread from the pool to the yard, to the neighbor, to the who knows <laughs> what. Wow. And can you imagine a community that has several of those around, you know, around the yeah. world. Yeah, amazing. Now, yeah. If, if people would just use it for this one purpose, I mean, you could sell this stuff to everybody. 
you know, just, just for the purpose of preserving foods. Like we'll, we'll spray the um, veggies or fruits, any of those things that come into the house, we'll spray them with this, this, the CO2 water. And uh, they yeah. last, they last longer. A longer, like the spinach, you know, you get a thing of that kind of spinach and um, here in a little bit, it's all slimy. <laughs> but this one lasted, I think we said over a month. It was over a month. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Like, and what? it was still, That's still big. Gosh. That yeah. would help, um, that would help retailers. Yes. If they could have the food on their shelves for longer. Yeah, I yes. thought about just, you know, making up little spray bottles and going around and handing them, like when I go to, to buy things at the market, you know, there's like a little outdoor market where I'm close to my office and I go and buy fruits and veggies. Like you could just hand them a little spray bottle of that and then they can, you know, use it down to a certain, you know, like say this little spray bottle, if you use it down to a certain height and then you just re-add the water periodically, you just have a perpetual spray container of preservative liquid, you know? Oh, wow. When I use it on my wine. Oh, yeah. She it, I classify it, my wine, balance everything about it. Oh, cool. <laughs> and it, it definitely does <laughs> taste <have> coffee. better. <laughs> yeah. it, it definitely does taste better. And people yeah. are putting it, you know, like when they package their children's uh, lunches and things, they'll just sit the sandwich on the patch, you know, before they put it in the lunchbox or... Ah. I was I was taking mine to work with me, so it's just in my lunchbox. So Lord knows what it's emanating from there. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that um, because my son's got a lot of um, sensitivities to food. Like he had a food intuitive reading done, and um, there were very few foods actually that he can have. Mm. It's almost it's almost impossible for us to follow it follow the diet because it's so restrictive so mm. uh, yeah I was thinking if there was some way of yeah you know, putting it in a container that was lined with scans and asking yes. for the food to sort of restructure itself to suit his body beautiful yes yes I think yeah. that it really yes. responds to that type of intention it, it's definitely yes it mm -hmm. does very yeah. conscious um, and willing to interact with your innate intelligence of your body. Um, and plus, and we have the one called the avatar smoothie patch that has um, the, the food GANs, the, um, let me see if I can find his picture here. It has the fruit and vegetable GANs and the amino acids and um, you can put, put that on the water bottle and ask your body to absorb the, food and nutrients from the plasma state, which, you know, doesn't include the allergens and the irritating things and the chemicals and the this, that, and the other. So that one, mm. yeah, the, we, I was getting ready to make a smoothie one morning and I said, well, why don't I just make a smoothie out of the plasma water, you know, <laughs> instead of, <laughs> so uh, that's, so do you mean when you say um, absorb it from the plasma state, do you mean, um, only the plasma state or, um, or does the plasma state help introduce the more solid states to your body, like as a segue? Right. I think, I think there's potential for both. Um, the, to me, the, um, kind of the progression over time would be to, um, get your body to where it's aware that it can absorb food and nutrients in ways other than involving food. You know, there, there are people that are breatharians and um, I've worked with kids that you know, they say and they do just absorb stuff directly from the sun like a plant, you know. Um, let's see. I see that I, my volume has stopped for a minute, so I'll be quiet for a second. Let's see. Um, we can hear you. You can? Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, to me, that's something that we're probably looking towards in these next years is as this avatar nature is, you know, one of the expressions of that would be a much more efficient way of um, neutrifying the body. 
from from the you know from the plasma side and I, and I spoke of it before that it's the um, it's actually the way the body works you know it, it we don't actually absorb a, a cucumber into our gut and then the cucumber passes through the into the bloodstream you know <laughs> um, we break it down into nanoparticles in um, in the stomach using hydrochloric acid and then we break it down even further with all the different chemicals in the gut into basically into a GAN state. And, you know, Keshe uses all these terms and he keeps telling us it's, it's natural, it's normal, it's the way the body and the universe both work. Mm. So, you know, once the broken down material gets into your GI tract, um, it's the energetics of it that crosses into the bloodstream. It's not even physical particles of vitamins or minerals, it's just their energetics. Mm. So by um, uh, using the, the plasma water or drinking the plasma water, you're actually doing something that's more natural, not more natural, but it's easier for the body. It takes a lot less energy to get it to that point. So yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Cause, um, another thing I learned from Jackie McMillan is that 80% um, of the um, energy we get from food is used to actually digest it <laughs> so it's, and to work to it to be used for the rest so um yeah if we can bypass that yeah yes yeah, and look how much energy we're, energy we're expending to go to work to make the food or garden to make the food and then we cook the food or prepare the food and, and how much more we have to eat to to expend that energy from the body and it's just it's just it just you know, <laughs> it's mind-boggling it's mind-boggling it's huge yeah. so if we didn't have to consume the food and, and and consume the plasmas then we wouldn't have to work yeah to buy food <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I, I found this on the internet one day and I thought, oh, I want to have a website like this, right? Move and it up a little bit to show what's on the table in front of them. Okay. There yeah. we go. There you go. Let me expand the whole picture. That's evolution. Yeah. yeah. So there would be, you know, there would be a place to click on each of these beings, you know, depending on where you're at and your acceptance level and your your own evolution. You know, you can buy a hot dog or you can you know, put your hands on it and give it Reiki and, and, and charge it and bring it some, what did we used to say? My, my vibration and higher, you know, um, it's my intention that what I consume will vibrate, will, will synchronize with my vibration or higher. And then this being is, you know, doing their water that way instead of the food that way. And then, you know, the, this being over here knows that it can, it doesn't require any, of those matter state items to get oh, yeah. to the point of energizing its body. Yeah. Mm. And think, I don't know if anybody loves, loves food more than I do. Yeah. It's I, good. <laughs> I enjoy good food. It's fun. It has a lot of, so when I drink my avatar smoothie, you know, I'm working with my body on that. You know, I, I give it, I give it permission to absorb the food and nutrients from the water. I, um, you know, I talk to it a lot. It's like, I know the stomach is empty. That's okay. You know, the, the signals saying that we're hungry have to do with the tummy being empty and that's okay. You know, and um, I, I kind of work with it on that. Like I'll, like when I get up first thing in the morning, I'll sip some of that avatar water and then go do some of my energy processes before I eat. And just give the body some practice. You know, I'm not pulling it off of food or anything like that. I'm just giving it some, some initiation saying, okay, this is something that I want to work towards and help me do it with ease and grace. You know, give me some insights and ideas. And when you want food, we'll give you food. You know, there's no, no big fear about that. <laughs> so I know, you know, Linda and I were talking about that earlier. We just eat so much less. I think I probably eat half of what I did a year ago for meals yeah. or, or less, you know, less, less than half. I do. Yeah. And a lot of people working with the technology, there's several of them that don't eat at all anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> or sleep. I just, you know, I don't know about the whole sleep thing. I kind of like sleep <laughs> <I'll enjoy laughs> as much as I like food, but um, right. 
<laughs> many of them are not, you know, requiring as much. So, you know what? We've been on here for almost an hour and a half, girls, and we're just having a good time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so fun. We get into some great subjects and we talk and visit. <laughs> so cool. Thank you all. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, hey, thank you. It's just yeah, it's just amazing. Pronounce your first name for me correctly. Oh, uh, Micah. Mike. Mike. Yeah. Have have you have you um? Do you take classes with Susie? I've I've done the level one. Ah, and, okay. Uh, thought so. Are you going yeah. to Scottsdale? Sorry. Are you going to Scottsdale, Arizona, for the September event? She's in Australia, silly. Oh well, mm. some people come from other countries. They do. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> but, um, I, it might be a bit far. Yeah. <laughs> Have we sent you one of the the patch kits? Um. I I didn't want to ask because I know how many people there are in the um, well, awesome. I know you you've been working your way through. So well, we're um, we're we're to that point now. That's what we were doing. Um, you know, we were offering level three and level two, and then of late we've been offering to to level one people as well. So. Oh, okay. Oh, that that would be wonderful. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. and I'd be happy to um send a donation too um to support what you're doing as well and, and you're on our avatar awesomeism avatar tools thing yeah yes yeah. okay um i'll go in there and send, i'll send you a private message do you have my email address i uh, i don't think so i don't um, think so either but i'll, I'll go in to send you a private message and uh, our friend requests you shall okay. i yeah and, and then, um, then we can one with a glass wine glass picture with Linda Cromer with the wine glass. Toasted. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, friend request, and then and then uh, we'll share email addresses and in a private message, and then I'll let you know what information I need from you at that. Okay, point. that'd be great. Yeah, it's very small and very thin. I mean, you put it in an envelope, you know, basically, yeah. and a yeah. couple of. Stamps. I mean, even to Australia, it's not bad. We sent, bad. we sent Rachel uh, a kit. Mm -hmm. and it takes a while to get there. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for something from the UK, and it's. Yeah. I've been waiting for a while. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. You'll get it. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it and it sprinkles its um whatever it is all the way as it's traveling. Oh, yeah. It, Several people tell us that they can kind of track the energy as it moves across the country, and it's um, it, sprinkles, it sprinkles its fairy dust all the way wherever it goes. Yeah, oh. It just plasmatizes, you know, the post office and the truck and the highway and the I don't know what. The fairy trail. Airplane. The fairy trail, right? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's where part of that story came up. That's what they they care something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Yeah. yeah. All right, ladies. I guess we ought to wrap it up. It's gonna take me forever to upload Here's this. Virginia, thing. Virginia's in there and not said a word the whole time. Well, I'm listening and I if there's you know, anything that I can do too, I would like to, you know, get started on this as soon as I can. Stay for looks like several days. Okay, beautiful. Virginia, I love your accent. I don't know where you're from. <laughs> well, it's south south of the United States <laughs> from south? Mississippi to Texas. Oh, south uh, United States. It's in, te in Texas. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> really? That's where Heather is. I'm in yeah. I'm in uh, Odessa, Texas, right now. Oh, are you really? Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't lived in Texas for like forty years. I've been in Arizona, but I my accent <laughs> not like it used to be. But it's <laughs> Give you a margarita and it's even bigger, huh? Yeah. <laughs> if you so can I, wake me up. I think that would, that would be a beer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Texas too, so I, I'm not there now, but give me a couple of margaritas and you would know it. All right. <laughs> Just to stop the recording now. We're going to get into all that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.